Hello, I'm going to introduce to you the Sora app for reading ebooks. Sora is an overdrive company, and if you're familiar at all with the public library and use ebooks there, the public library version is called the Libby app. So for school, we use Sora, and this little icon here is the guy you want to look for in the app store for your device. Um, if you'd like to read ebooks on your computer, you can go to soraapp.com slash library slash heart ca and make sure it's heart like your email address, H-A-R-T. Once we get into the app, it will give you an option for a setup code. And if you want to use that for um, that way of setting it up, it's just heart ca. And this is a school district um, subscription. So we're, use, we're looking for William S. Hart not just a royal stakeout. This is what the app looks like once you first open it up on your device. You'll click find my school and then you will search for the uh, William S. Hart Union High School District using the Hart CA uh, setup code. And then you will need to use your school email account to log in. You can see that on my phone, I have both my personal and my school uh, Gmail accounts. So I need to make sure to select my Heart District one. Yours will say at my.heartdistrict.org. Same thing. And once you've logged in for the first time, you get an achievement award. And this is what the landing page looks like. So from here, you can use the uh, magnifying glass to search and type in a title and see what's available. Um, you can just scroll through and see what's available, um, look through collections, and set your preferences because there are both audio and ebooks. This is the menu button, which you should be familiar with. If you click on the menu button, it'll open up this uh, side menu here. And as you can see, I have several libraries on my list. I have our school district, I have something called Audiobook Sync which is a program that runs every summer and you can download two free audiobooks every week and that works with Sora. And then you can also click add a library. If you look under general settings, you will see options for changing the, um, the font to make it easier to read and also the contrast. So if you need extra um, adaptations there, then there are some options for that. If you want to add a public library to your Sora account, you will search by the library name, city, or zip code. I typed in Santa Clarita, and these are the results that I got. LA County Library and City of Santa Clarita Public Library. You can add both of those. However, you have to have a public library card at that library. And these are two different kinds of libraries. Um, the City of Santa Clarita is probably what's applicable to most Arroyo Seco students. LA County Library is a little bit farther out, um, but you are LA County residents, so you are able to get an LA County Library card as well. So you can add both of those if you'd like. You'll click This is My Library, and then you can search for books there, and they'll also, also offer suggestions. Let's say I wanted to check out Diary of a Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. I would need to click borrow and then it would send me to the screen to log in with my public library card. I would need to enter my card number and the pin is a number that's not on the card. It's a number that you just have to know. And I am the school librarian so I don't have any way of knowing that information for you. If you do not have a Santa Clarita public library card, you can go to their website um, they're making it very simple to get one right now since they're physically closed. Um, if that's intimidating to you, reach out to me and I am happy to help you try to uh, acquire a public library card. I don't really have any contacts at the county library, but I'm sure that if you looked up their website, you'd be able to find some information about that. The ebooks do get automatically returned, so they leave your account as soon as the due date arrives. You are also able to send your ebooks to a Kindle if you use a Kindle as an e-reader. 
I hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you um, enjoy reading ebooks through Sora.